Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a, I guess like a new series on my channel. I was just thinking about some ways that I make products more wearable for my skin tone and for me personally. And so I figured I would just start doing like a quick tip series. If anything that I really thought of or if you guys had any requests as always. So it's really hard to find a lot of nudes to suit darker skin tones. And so I've kind of found a way to make things work on myself using lip liners and like the way I apply nude lipstick so even like the lighter ones like the one that I'm wearing right now doesn't make me look like real washed out or it doesn't look too pale for me so I thought I would do like a quick tip on how to wear nude lipsticks especially if you have a darker skin tone like myself if you guys want to see how I make nude lipsticks work for me then keep watching so firstly, the thing you should do is grab some lip liners that, that are slightly darker than your lips or even a bit more pinker, like I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell but my lips have quite a bit of definition along the edges and even like on the inner corners. So it has to be a pink or a nude that is slightly darker than your lip color. So I've picked MAC Saw Lip Liner which is one of my favorite lip liners and I've also got one by NYX, it is the retractable lip liner in natural. That one's the one by NYX and then the other one next to it is matte saw lip liner. Right now I'm wearing saw on the edges but I'll show you guys how I applied it too. So now that you guys are nice and zoomed in. I guess let's do it with Chi because I think that's the lightest one. So it's an ultra matte liquid lipstick in Chi. Now, firstly, if I was doing this on myself, I would use my lip liner first to line the edges of my lips and then apply this. But because I want you guys to see what this looks like on its own on me, then I'm just going to do this first. So, I'm just going to apply it as usual. If you are wearing this and you have quite fair skin, there is a bit of a contrast between your lip colour and your skin tone. Whereas for me, the fact that it's like a nude lip, it gets quite close to my actual skin tone if you know what I mean. So that's why we're going to go in with a lip liner and define the edges a little bit and make it a bit more wearable. So that's what this looks like and it's pretty much dry. So then I go in with my lip liner. I don't line over my lips, I line on my lip line. And because it's like a bit darker than my actual skin tone and darker than the nude colour, you'll see the edges of it. I think you can see that. But it's not too dark to the point where it stands out a lot. And then to the upper lip. So you can already see that just by doing that your lips look a bit more defined, they even look a bit more plumper even though I didn't line over my lip line, it's just on the very edge. It just kind of gives it a bit more definition and makes it look like you can tell that that's where your lip line ends. So after I do that, I just kind of go in and I shade the corners like this. It's a lot easier if you do it first before your actual liquid lipstick and then you just touch it up. Now you just press your lips together just to blend it in. And then that's about it. So as you can tell now, even though the colour of it's altered a little bit, like it's still the same colour in the middle of the mouth, but the edges just kind of give it a bit more definition and make them look, it just makes it look a little bit more wearable and your lips look plumper without making it look like you had them done or making it too obvious that you've lined outside your lip line because I'm still inside my lip line, as you can tell. It's not like I lined over it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you can use this for any kind of lip combo. My favorite is Saw Lip Liner with Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. Mine's in my purse, so I'd show you. Right now I'm loving it with Colourpop's Ultra Matte Lip in Trap. You could use any lip liner. This is just my favorite. Um, experiment with a lot. I mean, I even use darker ones. Like I'll use MAC Nightingale with like more purpley ones. I even try using it with nude. But just make sure that if it's quite a darker lip liner, then you just blend it in real well into the actual liquid lipstick. So, or it doesn't have to be liquid lipstick. Lip lipstick. Just keep pressing your lipstick together until the edges blend in so it's not like a harsh dark line and then your lipstick and it just looks like it doesn't blend. Make sure it's blended. That's pretty much it and that's how I make nude lipsticks work for me and even if it's quite a light nude then I would just do the lip liner first and then put a little bit on the center of my lips and then 
just press it together and let it blend out. That's how I make nude lipsticks work for me. Hopefully you guys learned something and that this has been helpful to someone because at first it was really hard for me to find nudes that I guess were dark enough for my skin tone. For example, um, Max Velvet Teddy. If I just wore that on my own, on its own, it just looks a bit odd and it looks it makes me look really. And it just doesn't work with my skin tone. It's just too light. Hopefully this technique helps someone. If it does, then let me know down below or also let me know what your favorite um, lip combos are for nudes. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below if you guys have any more requests. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Is that uh, uh <clears throat> my voice kind of broke there. I'll zoom you guys in. Oops. It is pairing, pairing, pairing them with. Dun, 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 dun.